you know, this is a cool area of the forest where, you know, there's a canopy up on the top blocking out most of the sun. So down here, there's not much vegetation. Like, I can just walk around down here. As opposed to, like, over there where I can't get through that without a machete. So, I've been thinking, uh, I want to build a cool house in one of these kind of areas. Maybe one even more open than this. There is a hill, might be hard to distinguish in the camera, but like right over here, there's a chunk of land that's high. And I, I want to go scout that out. I'm going to walk down through here and back up. And you know, the mosquitoes love this camera. I don't know what's going on. Camera, stop making whatever mosquito noise you're making. There's no mosquitoes here until they pulled the camera out. And right now, there's like three of them on the camera. All right, I'm turning this off. Can just walk through this. However, I do want to remember where I went. So, just hacking a little trail. There, yeah, you can see I came from that way. I was just over there somewhere on the other side of this little ravine. I came around here. Here's my path. Now I'm on that next ledge. This is a pretty cool spot. I don't know how well this shows up in the camera, but it's nice and level and there's not that much vegetation. Probably on the camera it just looks like a big green blob of green blobbiness. And then right down here, there's a stream. You can hear it. And you see it's all sunny over there because there's, uh, there's no trees. There's a field right out there too. I kind of want to build like just a not too huge concrete dome here. That would take a week or two to build. Then I'd have a little base of operations out here. Super secret base. All right, I just hacked my way down this hill to where the stream is. It's just there. I'll get there in a second, but first, there's a very long, big, straight tree right here. I don't know what kind of wood it is. Maybe it's something good. Man, I can get a lot of boards out of that. It's about a foot and a half diameter. Over here, anyway. It gets fatter down there. And here's the stream. My property still goes for a while past it. Looks like it comes through here and blasts right through here when uh, when it rains. I guess normally it curves around and goes that way. I wonder if there are any food trees around here. This is the area that has very fertile ground. Oh, nice. It's got solid bottom here. Ooh, nice and cool. Oh, I got a, a cheap machete that rusts. My other machete is stainless steel, but this one's longer, and I'm not worried about wrecking it. And I put a string to hold onto my hand, because I always get super sweaty, and it's hard to keep a grip. And sometimes, whoosh, it just flings right out. So I drilled a hole up here. There was already a hole down here. Oh, no, I made a new hole down there, too. Anyway, now if my machete slips out of my hand, I still have it. Oh, and for scale, this is about six feet wide. This is also the stream that I pedal boated up to, but way, way downstream. From here you can see some of the open fields, and some of this is on my property. A whole bunch over there that you can't see from here. But I think up to the top of this hill, maybe? I think if I keep going this way, yeah. This is the other path that I came down last time I was here, and I hacked all this out. Huh, cool. So this is where I want to do a bunch of planting. And as you can see, the grass is very tall. But I cut this down two days ago. It's already all dried out. I could probably throw a match on this and just burn this whole section. There's not much chance of a, you know, forest fire catching here. It's too wet. Still, I don't know if I want to do that. 
You know, one thing a friend I have did is he was taking like uh, this big plastic sheet and laying it on the ground wherever he wanted to clear out the vegetation. And it would heat up, it was black, so it would heat up from the sun and just kill everything under it. And he'd take the sheet off and then he could plant whatever he wants in the, in the nice soil with all the, uh, you know, all the stuff on top would have been heated up and composted into there. So I could bring some big tarp kind of thing and lay it out here, move it around as I'm, as I'm hacking my way through to prep the ground for planting. All right, I'm gonna leave you there to be the mosquito decoy. Oh, there's no mosquitoes out here in the sun. Still, if there are, they'll go to the camera. would make short work of this. Well, it might be long. I cow out here for a few weeks. This will be all chewed down. Covered in poo. Oh, I also made myself a nice new uh, jungle smacking shirt. It's kind of longer sleeves to block the sun and, you know, bugs that might try to sting me or bite or whatever.
All right, if I do that every time I come out, pretty soon I'll have a decent sized area. <laughs> Only when you're a baby can you get someone so excited by smiling. Yeah. In a few years, that won't be good enough. You have to start throwing balls and stuff like that. But right now, yeah, all you need to do is smile at me. <laughs> and throw up. <laughs> you can't really throw up.